In this video, we're going to look at the probability and the OR rule for mutually exclusive events. So in other words, if you want the probability of A or B, that's equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B, if they're mutually exclusive. And what mutually exclusive means is that they can't happen at the same time. Let's have a look at an example. So, here we've got a six-sided dice, and it um, the question says, what's the probability of rolling a two or a five on a six-sided dice? So, the probability of a two or a five would be equal to the probability of a two plus the probability of a five. And because they can't happen at the same time, you can't get a two and a five at the same time when you roll a dice. So the probability for two is equal to a sixth, one out of six, plus the probability for five is equal to one sixth as well. So therefore, the probability for two or a five would equal two out of six, or two sixths. And you can cancel that down to one third. Now, just uh, another way to do it is some people just say, well, a two or a five would be two out of the six sides. But whenever you're doing a dice question, that's quite straightforward to do. However, if you're doing a more complicated question, you may want to use the formula. So it's the probability of A plus the probability of B. So the probability of a 2 is a 6 plus the probability of a 5 is a 6. And then you add those together, so that would be 2 6 So let's have a look at another example. Uh, a football team plays a match, and the, probability, uh, the table below shows the probability of each outcome. So the chance of them winning is 0 0.2. The chance of a draw is 0 0.1. The chance of a loss is equal to 0 0.7. What's the probability of a win or a draw? So the probability of a win or draw would be equal to the probability of a win plus the probability of a draw. The probability of a win is equal to 0 0.2. The probability of a draw is equal to 0 0.1. So we just add those together and that would be 0 0.3. So the chance of a win or a draw is 0 0.3. So let's have a look and see what happens whenever we use the OR rule for non mutually exclusive. So let's look at probability and the OR rule for what happens whenever the events are non mutually exclusive. In other words, they can happen at the same time. So, a typical question A dice is rolled, and what is the probability of an even number or a multiple of three? Now, another say can happen at the same time, you can get an even number that is a multiple of three when you roll a dice, in other words, a six. So let's just take this off, these off, the outcomes which would satisfy each of them. So, even. So that's 2, 4, and 6. And a multiple of 3 would be 3 and 6. Now notice that if I was to look at these individually, even is 3 out of 6. Multiple of 3 is 2 out of 6. And if we were to try and use the method for mutually exclusive events, we'd add those together and your answer would be 5 out of 6. However, we know that's not the right answer because the numbers that are even or a multiple of 3 are 2, 3, 4, and 6. So our answer is going to be 4 out of 6, or 4, 6. So that means that our method, we need to change it for whenever they are non-mutually exclusive. And the method is this. It's the probability of, so if you want the probability of A or B for non-mutually exclusive events, you're going to do the probability of A plus the probability of B, take away the probability of A and B. So if we look at this last example, the probability of even was equal to 3, 6. So even is 3, 6. Even was 3, 6 plus the probability of multiple of 3, that's going to be plus 2 sixths, and then take away the probability of even and a multiple of 3, well the only number that's even and a multiple of 3 is 6, so the probability of that would then be 1 out of 6. And if you do 3 sixths plus 2 sixths, that's 5 sixths, take away 1 sixth would then be 4 sixths, which is our answer. So let's have a look at an example. The, the numbers 1 to 20 are placed into a hat. Find the probability of a multiple of 4 or a square number. So we want the probability of a multiple of 4 or a square number. So the probability of a multiple of 4, probability of a multiple of 4, where well, the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16 and 20. And that would then be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 out of 20. So the probability of a multiple of 4 is equal to 5 out of 20. Which, if you simplify it, then would be 1 quarter. The probability of a square number would be, well, the square numbers are 1, 4, 
4, 9, 16. So there's then uh, 4 of those. So that's going to be 4 out of 20. Or 1 fifth. And the probability of both, so that's a multiple of 4 and a square number, would be equal to more multiples of 4 and a square number. We've got 4, and we've also got 16. So that's going to be equal to 2 out of 20, or 1 tenth. So the probability of a multiple of 4 or a square number, well, that's going to be equal to a quarter plus a fifth. Minus a tenth. And if you want to do that, make them all have the same denominator. Well, let's turn them all back into 20 of cents. That'd be 5 twentieths plus 4 twentieths. Take away 2 twentieths. Well, then that would be 5, 9, take away 2 is 7 twentieths. So the answer would be 7 twentieths. And let's just check that by writing a list. So multiples of 4 or a square number. So the multiples of 4 again were 4. 8, 12, 16, 20, and the square numbers were 1, 4, 9, 16. Well, then that would mean that there's five multiples of 4, and the square numbers that aren't multiples of 4 would be 1 and 9, so altogether then that would be five numbers. So you'd, the possible numbers would be 1, 4, 8, 9, 12, 16, and 20. So the probability is 7 twentieths.